Um, so this isn't your first Comic Con, is it? Uh, no, I mean it's the first time I'd done a panel before, which was really fun. Um, but I I came here for Piranha 3D, but it wasn't. We got kicked out of Comic Con proper because it was too gory or right. something. Um, and, then I, and then I came here just as a fan once, which was really fun. So this is my third time, but the first time doing one of those like Hall H things. It's crazy, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, so what was the appeal of Krampus, both the uh, the creature and the movie? I mean, had you heard of the Krampus before this? I'd heard of it, but I wasn't like super familiar. Uh, I was just I, before I even read the script, Mike Doherty sat me down and we chatted about the Amblin movies we grew up with and how much we loved them, like Gremlins and Goonies and Poltergeist, and how much we missed those movies. And he's making something very much in the vein of, of those Amblin movies here. It's a really character-driven family dramedy. And then about halfway through, this crazy shit starts happening. Um, and so by the time the supernatural element really takes hold, it actually ends up being quite moving because you're really invested in these characters and these relationships and these parents just trying to keep their family together. What can you tell me about the Krampus himself? I mean, we know that uh, Weta did the effects. Yeah. Did you get to work alongside this guy? Um, I can't say too much about the guy himself, but I, I, I will say that it is spectacular. It's unlike anything you, you've seen on screen in, in a long time. Uh, I, I love just those practical effects and seeing the Weta guys and their puppetry and just the artistry of what they do and these practical creatures we had on set. It was a thrill. <laughs> do they act like divas? Or are they tough to get under control? Yeah, they, they won't come out of their trailer. <laughs> if they, uh, no, they're, all those guys are just the best. I was going to say, you know, you mentioned Piranha, which is also kind of a horror comedy. Uh, do you feel comfortable in this genre, which kind of blends both genres? Oh, I don't think... Krampus is a horror comedy, really. It's more of a, I would say it's more of kind of a family dramedy that just takes a crazy turn. And uh, do you think there's going to be a Krampus, too? Oh, I have no idea. <laughs> Who knows? Cool, man. Well, thanks so much. Yeah, thanks a lot. Appreciate it. Yeah, have a good day. Um, so tell me, how is your Comic-Con experience going so far, especially the uh, Hall H panel? Yeah, you know, the, I was told 10 minutes before we were going out there that there were, that there were 6,000 people in the hall, so not, not that in deal. itself was a little shocking. Um, but uh, it's kind of strange, actually, because we just finished film this, filming this two months ago, and then all of a sudden it's like, you know, sharing, sharing a certain element of it, and uh, I've never kind of worked on anything that quite kind of sits in this genre, and it's a fascinating... Uh, experience being here, yeah. <laughs> now, was this the first time you had seen any of the footage or the trailer? I during the shoot, um, they cut together a, a, something very similar to show the crew, so I'd seen a little of it. But it was really exciting, especially in that massive screen with the mm -hmm. you know the booming bass and it rumbles your seat a little bit. Yeah, <laughs> it, it really you really kind of feel the fear of the film. Now, do you find that you've you've enjoyed movies like this in the past? Yeah, I mean, when I first spoke to Mike, he, he talked about the love of films that he and I grew up watching. Um, I, I think Gremlins was the mm -hmm. first film I ever saw in the cinema with an, without an adult. And, and I think this kind of takes that idea and, and pushes it even further. Yeah, it's like, re you know, real people and real characters. Uh, and then it gets a little out of control <laughs> and supernatural. <laughs> yeah. And a real Krampus, I hear. Yeah, what can you yeah. tell me about working with that guy? Oh, uh, well, you know, Weta Workshop, who were mostly known for, all, you know, for a lot of things, mm -hmm. but the, the Lord of the Rings trilogy, uh, incredible artists. And to be able to work with these creatures, you know, in reality, in the room was pretty great. Um, um, can you ask me the question? <laughs> I was just going to say, what was it like working with the actual Krampus on set? Oh, yeah. Um, As opposed to like a CG character, you know? I don't know if this is giving it away, but my... Yeah, I'm, I can't tell you. Sorry. <laughs> the answer is... <laughs> Fair enough. say things I can't say. <laughs> but it was impressive to look at, I guess. Oh, yeah. yeah. And, you know, every time I walked past the monitor, I, you know, they had playback, and I just was always taken by how rich and cinematic it looked and how, you know, being in the room, you could have an exchange. But then when it suddenly caught on the screen, it was just like... It, it just it was elevated. I was, yeah, really impressed by it. And how about working with Adam Scott? 
he's so boring. No. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the whole cast was just a lovely group of people, very smart and very funny. And um, yeah, I think uh, in a way, um, the experience kind of bonded us, you know, similar to our characters, you know, when when Krampus comes and chaos ensues, we, we, we I mean, the, the house started off, you know, my character's this perfectionist who's really uptight and everything's kind of got a bow on it for Christmas and it just slowly gets torn apart and and uh, our experience was kind of like that, you know? Yeah. Sounds exciting. Yeah, it's exciting. It was good. Cool. Well, thank you so much. Thanks.